Hey, glad you stopped by to follow our family and our friends on the road to the top 10 percent in the 2021 CrossFit Open. It's going to be fun. My goal in doing the CrossFit Open is to make it into the top 10 percent of the competitors, but more on that later. First, let's talk about what the CrossFit Open is and give you a chance to meet some of the crew. Let's go. I am Charity. I'm your wife. And huh, let me see. What? What is like the first thing I want people to know about me? It's a really good question. Reagan is almost 10 months. I really need to get my nails done. They look terrible. The Open is a worldwide test to see where your fitness is at. For me, it's not as much as seeing where I'm at against everyone else, but seeing that I'm getting better year after year and hopefully week after week. Open to me is a time where you get to just be around your friends and have a little bit of friendly competition <laughs> and push yourself a little bit more than you would in a normal day-to-day -day workout. The CrossFit Open is a big worldwide event that anybody, absolutely anybody can participate in. Three weeks with one workout released each week you have from Thursday until Monday to complete the workout. It's a really cool opportunity because you have people from different CrossFit gyms or people outside of CrossFit gyms that they come together for those three weeks and they're doing the same work and they're centered around the same idea of being better people. And that's a really, really awesome and really special thing to be a part of. For the average person like me, you're just basically competing against yourself. If you've done the Open in the past, then you probably have had goals coming out of the open and you you noticed things that you wanted to work on and so it gave you a lot of drive to work on those things anybody can do it a lot of people that don't do crossfit are intimidated by it because they see like the big athletes lifting huge weights and they think like that has to be them but the open is for anybody it's scalable and it's doable for anybody even at home i like the the law enforcement i definitely want to It'd be cool to be as high on that list as I could be. That's my goal is make sure I'm better than I was last year and be as high on the law enforcement as I can be. I think it's important to compare yourself year to year just to see how far you've come and to see if you are actually like reaching your goals. For some people to just be doing a workout because they're gonna do a workout that day anyways, and for some it's it's more, it's like a chance to kind of really push themselves and, and uh, challenge themselves. And that's a really great thing, that's really awesome. A worldwide celebration of fitness is what it is. Now for me, my goal is to make it into the top 10% of the competitors that are in the open. Hi. And the reason for that is, is that if you're in the top 10%, you qualify for the next stage of competition. And they narrow it down until it's just a few from the top 1% that are competing for the title of the fittest on earth. Now, obviously I'm not gonna make it there, but I would really like to make it to the next stage. And based on my numbers from last year of men doing RX in the United States, I was 13%. So close. I would need a 3% improvement from last year in order to make it. If I've gotten 1% or 2% better, I mean, I will be so close to making that cutoff line. So that's something fun. It's a good goal for me, and everyone's goals are going to be different. We've been working out from our home this year for a variety of reasons, and with that comes a lot of convenience, but it also uh, brings a lot of its own challenges. A little less than a month left until the open starts. This is the time where we're starting to really crank up the intensity, focus on that stuff. We have a small problem with today's workout. It's salt bite calories and uh, toast bar and muscle ups. The weather outside didn't get the memo for the workout. A couple options, V-ups instead of toast bar, weighted pull-ups instead of muscle ups. Or, I can break a path through this snow and do the workout as prescribed. You don't even know me, I'm not the one going out there. What are you going to do for the workout? I'm going to do burpee pull-ups and toast bar on this bar over here. 
Do you see this? It looks like Narnia. For where we live, this is a ton of snow and it's still coming down. So I need to figure out how to get that pull up bar ready for toast bar and muscle ups. The thing is, is it's only 12 degrees out here right now. So even if I melt the ice, unless I dry the bar off, the water I use to melt the bar with is just gonna freeze again into new ice. Fresher ice, but still ice. It's gonna work. A little bit of success, but you can see there's like a half inch of ice underneath the snow. And just like that, we are ready to go. Everyone's gonna have their own unique challenges that tend to pop up whenever they set goals, and that's just part of life. And those obstacles are a great opportunity to learn. So, I'm 30 weeks pregnant, and uh, you know, so every workout is just a struggle these days, like, especially mentally, like, just trying to get myself to move. It, it's, I mean, it's really, really difficult to be again. <laughs> CrossFit workouts are already intimidating in and of themselves, and you add the pregnancy fatigue, and you know, I'm just feeling big. So it's a little like, there's like a lot of mental challenges and stuff right now. I'm gonna do the open, I'm just, I'm just gonna move, support my mom. My mom does CrossFit in Clearwater, and uh, at CrossFit Rebels. Shout out CrossFit Rebels, and uh, she's, 70, I think. So when I told her I was doing it and I was gonna be seven months pregnant, well actually no, eight months. She was like, what, you are? It doesn't matter if everybody else is beating you, it's fine. It's about getting better, challenging yourself and doing the best that you can do. Working night shift, it's hard to fit it in. I could get called into work early, I could be called out late. I have to make a training adjustment based off what I was planning on doing the next day. I have to completely change that and I may only have okay, I've got 20 minutes that I can work out today, so I have to pick for me, what is the, these 20 minutes, where do I need to focus that? Normally I work out three to four times a week. I work night shift, I'm a nurse, so I work 12 hour shifts, and mentally it's been hard. Normally I work out at a gym, so I think this year for me, it'll be a little bit different because I won't have a lot of people watching me. It's hard to get yourself going at home when you're by yourself. CrossFit's about community and that's really what has helped me in the past. Working out at a gym in the past does give me motivation to keep going because I'm just so used to that community and I have friends to work out with too. So it is different but I actually like it because it's actually given me internal motivation instead of like external motivation. All right, we have constructed our wall to keep Reagan out for the workout. Are you gonna stay out of the way? Wall ball area is cleaned up and ready to go.
hope you guys will join us as we go through each week of the Open, do the workouts, and, and try to reach our goals. Hopefully, we'll see you there in the Open too.